it's just frustrating. I mean, I finally get to go skiing. <laughs> and this happens, and now I can't do anything. Hey, Mayor. For the first date, after 22 years of making promises, I'm finally taking Mary skiing. Hi. I think living farther apart is harder on me than it is on anybody else. There have been days since we moved to Las Vegas that Mary and I have gone and looked at each other and we've gone, wow, I haven't seen you for four days. Let's get out of here. Okay. It's almost like it's four monogamous relationships that are all one family. I was talking to somebody this morning and he said, good luck, last time I went skiing, I broke my leg. Who <laughs> says that kind of stuff? <laughs> he said to me that winter that we had first met, he's like, oh, we should go skiing this winter. And 22 years had passed. Let's go. I'm so excited. You ought to be excited. This is fun. Mary and I did not start out romantically. No, we were we just, the, the, we, we became friends and we started off that way. You know, we traditionally marry fairly young in our faith. Mary was 19, I was 22. Because we were young, I kind of knew that developing a relationship based on character was going to be so much more important. And that's kind of what I was looking for. Why are you walking so far ahead of me? To ditch you. Wait, this is supposed to be a romantic date. <laughs> You're going to put your toe in. You want them tight around your ankles. That front goes in. Now press down on the back. All right, welcome to hell. You're gonna feel like you can't walk and you can't do anything. Better this than you think, my dear. Toe straight. Oh. See, stomp, stomp. <laughs> You're gonna learn some serious patience today, lover. <laughs> Turn your knees and your ski will fall. Turn your knees that way. Turn them that way. Oh. Keep your balance. Okay, turn. Turn your knees in. This way. Now the other way. Oh, she's doing great. See, that wasn't that bad. No, you did good. I just had in my head, if I can just show him okay. that I can do this, no issues, and I'll be able to be like, ha ha, ha ha. Lift the heel. Good. Hey, how's How it going? You? Good. National Ski Patrol. Uh, can I be of some help? <laughs> so I'm just resting. I don't think I know how to stop. I think I just know how to fall to stop. If you want to stop? Oh man, I'm going a little fast. Just make the pizza feet slice a little wider. I'm practicing where you want to the go. stop thing. Point that way. Point downhill. Keep following me. Now stop. Other, other way. Go ahead and turn that way. Point your knees. Lift the heel on the side you want to turn to. Don't push me. I am a lousy ski instructor. Okay, oh. I'm gonna push you off. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, okay, heavens. Turn this way. Turn this way. Oh, heavens. There we go. Now oh. we're gonna turn that let way. Go Lift me. your knee. Lift your knee. Me. Lift your inside knee. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now we're gonna turn that way a little bit. Oh, gosh. Woo! Okay. Now slow it down a little bit by, by, oh. by digging your. Dig your sled in, dig it in, dig it in, dig it in, dig it in, slow yourself down. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, lift but your right knee. Lift your right knee. You okay? Ah! I felt You're the stopping? Top of my knee. Oh, you did? Yep. I, my initial reaction, I didn't mean to be alarmist, but my head told me, You're done skiing. Does that hurt? No, it's all right. Just, okay. It's, <sighs> we still had an hour before the place closed. I had full intention of just resting for a little bit and then going back down at least one more time. You okay? Mm-hmm. Oh. So we're, we're going to the lodge and James, the ski patrol, says, how, how are you guys doing? And I said, well, she hurt her knee. And I'd like somebody to just check it out. Now, when you heard it pop, where was it exactly? It's right in here, and that's right where I'm here. feeling it, too. Okay. You're walking OK, I mean, with a little? I'm walking. It just feels really weak, like I can't put a whole lot of pressure I on it. I highly recommend we get ice on it pretty quick. Really? Yeah, yeah. On a pain scale from 1 to 10, 10 being excruciating pain, where would you put the pain right when it happened? Probably about a 6. About a 6? Uh -huh. All right, well, just based on that and based on what I'm seeing here, we strongly recommend that you your day of skiing is over. I definitely would get to the emergency room, have them check it out. It's probably nothing, but you can't be too safe with something like this. Right. If it was my wife, I would definitely 
take her to the ER for that. Are you sure we don't want to go down just a little bit? Like one more time, just slow. Really? <laughs> you didn't hear anything he said about if it was my wife, I would go to the hospital and get an x-ray. Oh well, I tried delivering on my promise of 22 years. He did a good job. We went to the doctor last night and the doctor says, you have a partially torn or a sprained MCL. And that is a strap of ligament that holds the knee in place and is gonna be a six to eight week recovery. And so she is down immobilized. Her being immobilized is, is not good. How are you feeling? Fine, just tired. Now listen, I've got plans with Janelle today. I know. Um, we're gonna go hike and are you gonna be okay or should I stay here? <laughs> no, Do you I'll, want be, me to... I'll be fine. It's just frustrating. I mean, I finally get to go skiing. <laughs> and this happens and now I can't do anything. It's all right, I don't regret it. It was a blast. I loved it and I, I will totally go again. I love you. You sure you're fine? Yeah, I'm positive. All right. Okay. See ya, love you. Okay, bye, have fun. Love you. <laughs>